I'm Igor Frank. Um, I'm a staff urologist uh, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Unfortunately, a proportion of patients presenting to a physician will have metastatic cancer at presentation, and these patients will require systemic therapy or the type of therapy that affects the entire body. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we have multiple trials ongoing investigating treatment options for patients with metastatic malignancies. We also offer approved treatment modalities um, for patients with metastatic prostate cancer, including hormonal therapy, chemotherapy, and forms of immunotherapy. Once the prostate is surgically removed, your physician will visit with you regarding the final pathology report that will allow you and your physician to predict outcome and cancer recurrence rates. Based on this information, your physician may prescribe additional therapy in the form of radiation therapy, hormone therapy, or others, or may elect to observe with sequential PSA measurements. Regardless, prostate cancer patients following surgical therapy require lifelong follow-up with PSA. In my practice, the first PSA check occurs at three months after surgery, and uh, this frequency of follow-up gets extended once the patient has been cancer-free for a period of time. Um, and this, of course, depends on the aggressiveness of their malignancies. For a typical patient, they get a PSA measurement every three months for the first one to two years. Then the frequency is extended to every six months for the following two to three years. And eventually they return back to yearly PSA measurements. However, a PSA recurrence or a measurable PSA following surgery does raise a red flag that need to be further investigated by your physician.